Hey everybody, welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Today I have a mail call. This is from original Atog. He told me he was going to send something. This package is enormous. There's something here, from here to here, that's crazy. And then there's something up in here. So let me get into this. Um, I've probably set up the tripod and do this live. So give me a second because I have no idea what's in here. So let me set that up and I'll be right back. All right, here goes. I don't know if that's the best angle I can get. My tripod doesn't go up that high. So you can see I'm going to cut into it here. I always try to cut from the top and slide the scissors across just so I don't potentially cut anything in here. I try not to cut down with the scissors until I get to the edge. Okay, <clears throat> so that. <sighs> All right, let's see if I have anything. I have a note. Okay, so. Holy smokes. All right, let me see what the note says. Down the bottom, we have original Atog's coins. Let's see what he says. I don't know if you guys can read that. Hey, DWC, thanks for being awesome. Here are some things for your channel. I put together an eight coin era or variety game for you to do. <laughs> I think you are much better than I at determining that stuff. Thought it would be fun. Spoilers. There is more than one in there that I am not really sure of. So it's okay if you correct me. I also included some coin shop rolls for you to check through. I've had some amazing finds and I hope you can too. No, sir. You sent some of those penny rolls? Are you serious? That's awesome. Oh, and if you hit the 1969 S DDO, don't forget about me. Dude, if I hit that freaking coin, I would not forget. You'd see it anyway. So uh, enjoy and keep up the great work. <clears throat> Scott, original ATOGS coins. Dude, <clears throat> that's crazy. <clears throat> You're putting me on the spot here, too, with a. Uh finding all these errors and varieties that's cool what is that oh that's awesome that's my first pin sorry I'm trying to trying to open the bag holy smokes dude you got a whole bunch of stuff let's see we have a pin that's awesome I have to peel this off, which I probably won't do, but I might. We'll see. You have a patch? Where'd you have your patches done? That's sick. I love anything embroidered. I think I said that already with the live coin Q&A stuff. That's awesome. We have some channel stickers. Very sweet. We got the hollow and the glitter. All right. Thank you, dude. That is awesome. Okay, let me put this over here. <clears throat> All right, so. We have an era or variety game. This makes me smile and laugh because I don't want to muck it up. But, okay. And what else is in the big giant bag here? So this must be the rolls. Dude, I can't believe you sent me those rolls. That's crazy. I'm going to so have to hunt those. Oh my god. That has been my favorite series on YouTube right now, is you hunting those penny rolls. That's no joke. 
That's an awesome series. You have found some incredible finds. All right, so I'm just trying to get the stuff back in the, the bag here. Okay, error override. This might take a while, guys. Let's see. <clears throat> Thank you so much. This is incredible. All right, what do we we have? Assuming coins probably wrapped up in paper. Oh boy. Okay, this says answers inside. All right, we're not going to do that yet, but I will pop this. Okay, so we're not going to, we won't do that yet. Okay. Let me get everything over to the side. Here's our coins. This may be a long video, everybody, but um, I'm excited. So let's get into it. Trying to get everything on one shot here. What the heck, man? That is crazy. Hey, talk. this is awesome. You're out of your mind. All right, so I have one and two. I don't know if we can see this. One and two. Three and four. So it looks like a nickel and a cent. One and two, three and... One, two, three, four. We have five and six. And then seven... And eight. All right. So I may have to pause just so I can take a look at the varieties. So let me get up to here. Sorry if that's loud. I know that can be kind of a oh, mamacita. Uh, I'm just trying to see where my screen lines up here. <clears throat> Give me a second. Let me pause this so I can try to get the camera set up. Sorry. I can show you the coins are right here. I am not going to touch them. Give me one second. All right, coins are still there. They have not been tampered with. Still sealed. All right, so let's see. I apologize if this is a long video, but it's going to be fun for me and hopefully you. Let's get into this. Let me uh, see if I can pop these open here. All right. So I have number one and number two. We'll start with the quarter first. Jovita. All right. Let's get Jovita under. Alrighty, let's see. <clears throat> Alright, this I just found one of these in my recent video. I have a die crack right here that comes down through her head. Now, if this is what he's talking about, that would be an error. So that would be the... Um, reverse die split in this area so you have metal buildup that causes that little crack there oh we got a another one right here so we have a crack on the obverse and reverse it looks like it comes right up to about there All right, number one, I'm going with ERA. This right here is a bag mark, so the reading of another coin, typically a quarter, hits in that area and puts that design in. All right, number one, let me put that back in. Number one, I'm going ERA. 
Number two, we have a nickel. This is a 2017. Playing music from 2017 oh. on Amazon Music. Echo. Cancel. Sorry. I don't want any copyright strikes. Um, so I always pass these up, the 2017s, for some reason. And I know that there is stuff on the reverse. Huh. Oh, here we go. So we have die chip right here. Let's work my way right to left. Okay. Die chip, die chip, die chip, and the start of an enormous beehive die chip. So you can see right in here the little gully. But this piece and this piece on the die, this piece, this piece, and this piece, they all fell off. So you have extra metal buildup in these areas here. Number two, era. Okay. This is awesome. <clears throat> How am I going to top this, man? Number. Number three is a nickel. I'm trying not to touch them. I mean, most of them are circulated, but still. Okay. Oh, I have a tough time with these. 1960. I'm going to go with... We're going to have some mint mark things going on here potentially but let's see okay all right so this looks like an rpm and this one i'm gonna have to double i mean i look up i have to look it up but right over here so this looks, looks like a, oh my God, I just said looks, looks, looks. This looks like an RPM facing west. So this would have been the original one, and they repunched over with this one. So you can see a little bit of the D here, and then on this side here. So let me pause on this one and see if I can figure out which RPM this is. All right, number three is stumping me. I think it's an RPM, but I can't find a match. So we're going to have to come back to number three. Or I have checked Variety Vista. They only have one. And DoubleDye.com, they have a few. I don't find a match on either. And I also tried to look at um, Double Dyes on DoubleDye.com and I wasn't finding a match there either. So I'm going to have to come back to number three. Um, let's get into number four. All right, number four is formative years. I might have to pull back on the camera here a little bit. Uh, let me zoom up a little. All right. Now this one usually has doubling in the hand, which I'm there we go. All right. So I see doubling in the finger right here. All right, let me pause this, see if I can't figure out which one this is. This would be a variety. Uh, give me one second. All right, so for this one, initially I thought it was uh, WDDR number three, but as I kept scrolling, I came across uh, number seven, which kind of 
pulls from the palm up to the binder of the book. And then there's this little swoop in between the thumb and the palm. So this one here, I think, is DDR number seven. Final answer. That's what I'm going with. Let me uh, pop this one back into its housing. Hey, Doug, this is great. This is awesome. i got to try to figure out what three is. All right, let's get into six and seven, uh, five and six. All right, five is ascent. Let's see what this one is. Okay. <clears throat> we have a 59. I think it's a 59D. Let's see. 59D. I did see the die crack on the head. Which is massive. Is that something up by the G? No, okay. So we have a massive die crack right here that runs through right there. And I'm just trying to see because that could just be a marker for something. I don't. Oh no, let me uh... see. These are throwing me off right here. That line, there's a line right here. And right in here. Looks like a little bit of a line right through here. So I'm just trying to see if anything jumps out at me. That nine definitely looks thicker. A little mark on the five right here. Check the reverse. I don't see anything on the reverse. Looking under the chin, some variations in light, making sure there's not a clash. All right, give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, I don't see anything else jumping out at me on this one. I checked for a double die. I checked for uh, RPM. I'm not seeing anything else. So I think this is a die crack. Again, right in through the head, which is a defect in the die itself, which cracked. And then you have metal flow that builds up where that crack would be. So that is considered an error. Let me get into the next one is a quarter. Uh, number six. And we have a 1965 Philly. Let me um let me pull back scope here 65 huh okay
65 quarters or this stuff that I see that ends up not being anything. Always on the 65 quarter for me. So like you have, this is machine doubling. A lot of people will think of it as doubling. That's considered uh, damage. Not seeing much on this one. Back to the other side. So now on the obverse, you can see it looks like doubling here, here, and then inside of the R. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. You have the ring of death. So when a machine crimps a roll, it ends up scratching the coin on the either the top or bottom. And if it's either obverse facing or reverse facing, you'll get that what they call a ring of death, that's damage. Hmm. Now could it be here? Is that a kneeling issue? So on the rim here we have some missing nickel out in here. So you can see some copper exposed. I don't know if that's what he's referring to or if it's like a DDO number three, maybe. Let me, um, let me go check Variety Vista and I'll be right back. All right, so for the 65, I'm not really seeing anything. Um, only thing that I'm seeing is on the outside edge here, where it would be improperly annealed, possibly. And that would be an error, not a variety. But I'm not seeing anything else. And like I said, the 1965s are tough. Unless you have the FS varieties. I'm not seeing anything else on here. Yeah, maybe off center strike or something. A little bit. Let's see. No. All right, I'm going to go with if that's what it is, and we'll find out. But a little bit of improper annealing or missing some plating. Don't see anything on the rim. Okay. That's what I'm going to go with on that one on the 65. It's probably not what he was referring to, but we'll find out when we come to it. And we have the last one here. It is six and seven. 
What do I have? Seven is a Lincoln scent. And I have a 1964. Well, let's see. Okay. And more machine doubling. And that would be damage. There is a, a couple, uh, or at least one, nice DDR on the 64. We got some nice split serifs in the S. Um, but yeah, this is this is um, machine doubling. I'm going to go with MD on this one, machine doubling. Not see anything else. I'm trying to see if there's a double I, which I'm not seeing. It could be something right, right there. Let me take a look. Hold on a second. All right, I'm going to go with uh, MD on this one, machine doubling. I don't see anything else. That's just weird. She said era of variety. Okay, I'm still going MD on that one. Let's see. Oh, you fix this here. It's coming out all funky. Okay. Number eight, we have Denver Minted 2018 Block Island. Huh. Denver Mint, huh? Check the rim. Did I, did I stop this video? Yeah, I did. Okay. Denver does not make a lot of mistakes. See now there is a a Philly variety on this one that has doubling in the wings down here, which resembled this right here, but this is machine doubling. So that is um damage as well. 
I'm not seeing. Not seeing uh, an era or variety on here, unless this is what he's talking about right here. So we're gonna find out in a half a second here. Down here, this is in queue stubbling. This is basically the same thing as. Um, Mint doubling or uh, machine doubling. All right, I'm going to go with the number eight. I'm going with damage. I don't see. I don't really see any grease strike. Okay, that's what I'm going with. So the one that, as as of right now, is what I think. The one that stumped me the most is this nickel. This 1960 nickel, which I think is a RPM. But I don't know. I can't find a match. <clears throat> if it's an RPM, I'm going with variety. Um... I don't see anything else. Okay. Let's get into the letter. And let's see what... So pull back out of here a little bit. All right. Pull this back this way again. And let's see. Let's see what happened. How did we do? All right. So, we have the 2023 quarter was the die crack reverse. And did we get, yes, we got that. That was on, uh, Jovita Idar. But there was also a die crack on the obverse. Uh, let's see. Number two. Beehive die chip. We got that one. Check. Number three. Yeah. Possible RPM. All right. I don't feel so bad on that one. 2009. Possible double finger. I agree. I think that was number seven. I think. From what I was looking at. 59D. Date. DDO or die damage. Not sure. I think damage. Me too. Awesome. All right. Number six. 65 quarter. Maybe mint uh, or machine doubling in Liberty and in God we trust. I agree. All right. 1964. We have machine doubling on reverse. Nice. Oh, I got nervous there for a second. I thought I was missing some stuff. And then the 2018 quarter. Bird feathers show doubling. Mint damage or DDR? He thinks mint damage, but could be wrong. No, I agree. Uh, I mean, I'm machine doubling. I don't know why I keep saying mint damage, but machine doubling, I agree. Um, there is a version, like I was saying, in uh, the Philly Mint that does have doubling on the feathers. Dude, that was awesome. I think I passed. Whew, I was getting nervous there. <laughs> that was awesome. Let me take the camera down for a second. I'm sorry if this was a long video. Actually, I'm not. I'm not sorry. That was awesome. So we had 
number one and two is Jovita and our 17 nickel. We have three and four, so I can put the nickel back. That one was stumping me. Uh, we have our 2009 and our 1960D. And five and six. We have the 59 Denver and the 65 quarter. And seven and eight. We had the 64 and 2018 Block Island, Denver. That was awesome. I had a really good time. Hey, Tug, that was great. I will, you know what, let me see if I can at least just pop these open while we have you on camera here. Another door. Anybody remember what movie that's from? Another door. All right. Let me uh, see if I can do this with one hand. Probably not because of the glue, but let me uh, see what we got going on here. Try to hold it with my elbow or something. Nope. Oh, yeah, I think we got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. We got one. We got two. What's this one? What is it? you sent me a nineteen sixty D roll? E. G. Head. I think that says head. Nineteen sixty D. Huh. E.G. I think. Maybe that's we and God. No. I don't know. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get this one edge open. All right. 1960D. I don't know what E.G head would mean but we're going to get into this role not right now this video is already long but we'll get into that role dude that's awesome you sent me some of the foil line rolls too yeah buddy hey tug that was great you're the man i don't know how i'm gonna uh even compare to that Never mind. Top it. Holy smokes. Um, I got to figure something out. I got the, my work, work cut out ahead of me here. Um, that was great. Really fun. I appreciate it. Everybody who's watching, if you don't know who a ATOG is, which I'm sure you do if you've watched my channel or LiveCoin Q&A, um, go check them out. It's original ATOG's coins. Um... Era Hunter, he's been hunting a uh, box of pennies that he got from his local coin shop. And I think he said he paid face value for them. The coin coin shop was just going to take them to the bank and get rid of them, uh, which are these here. And he's got a bunch of early dates. He's been finding the 09 Lincolns. He's been finding all kinds of stuff. And I've been uh, just engrossed in his videos. <laughs> Um, sorry, I just had to sit up in the chair and, um, yeah, insane. Like I said at the beginning of this video, um, it's been one of my favorite series on YouTube at the moment. Just crazy finds. Um, I like how he hunts them. He dumps out the rolls in front of you, kind of 
pokes through them real quick and see if he can find anything visually and then he'll put the video on pause hunt through them and bring you back show you what he found so go over it, check him out if it's something that you like that you can get behind show him some love tell him dirty water sent you that's it go check out atog um thank you again brother that was awesome i can't say it enough i'm shocked i couldn't believe it when i felt the package um that sounded really weird <laughs> sorry the package um i'm saying i'm um, a lot too atog thank you that was a, a phenomenal hunt everybody go check out original atog subscribe like watch his videos i'm telling you if you watch that penny hunt it'll suck you in you will not be disappointed everybody have a great night thank you for watching subscribe hit that notification bell smash that like button see you on the next one